Hey, howdy, Dimitri here. And today we are starting blog series number two. All right, let's get to work. The why and how of music. For more information about private lessons and questions, visit me. Please visit me at Dimitri4.com and leave, leave your input. Blog number two, the why and how of music. Objectives. What is a note? How does the circle help me? We're talking about the demi-circle of music when we say circle there. What is a note? A note is single, not plural. Therefore, a singer can sing a note or a series of notes in a row. Note or pitch is the height or the depth of a tone, the accuracy. Tone is a musical sound. There we're talking about the quality, okay? So the pitch, we're saying, is it in tune? In tone, we're saying, does it sound good? The 12 dots on the demi-circle of music represent all 12 notes in music. We label notes with letters. When the notes sound the same, we use the same letter. However, if the note sounds higher, closer to a woman's voice range, or lower, closer to a man's voice range, we use a different letter. The seven letters used to label the notes are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. You may ask, but there are more than seven notes. What happens on the eighth note? The series eighth note is an octave and the letter repeats. This repetition is why I chose to use a circle to illustrate the complete notes. So as you look at the natural note circle here, you're going to see 12 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then they repeat. An octave. The distance between one note like A and the next note bearing its same name. The next A that's either higher or lower. So we start on A. Higher is clockwise. We go around the circle. Come back to A. That is an octave. If we start at A and go counterclockwise down lower towards the men's voice and come back to A, that is also an octave. Seven dots on the workbook's note circle. Seven dots on your workbook's natural note circle page have letter names and five do not. So this is your natural note circle. Okay, and you can have this. This is in the blog series. Um, or, you know, if you get involved with the lessons, you can also use the natural note circle. And again, I'm offering that series free to start with. We're going to do little group classes of maybe two or three one-hour sessions to get familiar with the blog series and using the Jamboard and, of course, getting to know me. Again, seven dots on your workbook's natural note circle page have letter names and five do not. The dots that have letter names are natural notes. The blank dots are altered notes. These altered notes are called chromatic. Chromatic notes, blank dots. The natural note circle is very helpful in visualizing the relationship of a natural note to its chromatic. A chromatic is a note altered by an accidental. Accidental is a symbol, a sharp or flat sign that indicates the altered note a half step higher or lower than the natural notes. Okay, a lot of information. This is a sharp sign. This is a flat sign. The blank dots are altered notes. The letters are natural notes. And the chromatics are how we use the natural note to move it to a blank dot. So if we want this natural note C to move to this blank dot clockwise, we would use a sharp sign and this would become, uh, let's see if I can do this here. This would become C sharp. Okay. Or we can go the other way. We say, okay, I want this G to go counterclockwise to this dot. Then here I'm going to have a G flat. And that is an altered natural note, G to G flat. C to C sharp. And those are going to be different. When we play those on our instrument or we sing those notes, those notes are different. 
They're the notes in between C and D, or the note in between F and G. And we'll go through all of that, okay? This is just an introduction. Sharp sign, that's the one that looks like the hashtag. A sharp sign indicates that the altered note's a half step higher. So remember, higher on the circle is clockwise. C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. And the flat sign indicates altered notes a half step lower. So we want to alter them the other way. We could go B flat, A flat. We did G flat. Here's E flat and D flat. So that's how we get to those blank dots. We use accidentals. Okay. Here's some elements of music. Tonic. Tonic is the name of the scale. Clockwise is higher on the circle. So if we're going higher towards the women's voice range, we're going to go clockwise. Counterclockwise is lower on the circle. So when we use the circle, counterclockwise is going towards the men's voice range or down. Okay. A whole step is two dots. So this is something we talk about all the time. This is a whole step. From C to D is a whole step. Two dots. D to E is a whole step. Two dots. A half step is one dot. You can see some of these natural notes are one dot. B to C is one dot. E to F is one dot. So you can see that they're not all the same. Some have are different. Page two. How does this circle help me? Accuracy. Accuracy is the key to gaining the confidence necessary to move forward with the why and how of music. By illustrating the placement of the natural notes on the circle, it is very clear where the blank dots are. As a result, the natural notes on the circle make note recognition and navigation consistent and easy. In turn, that understanding brings accuracy and proficiency. Let's expand on a note. A single note is called a note. The distance between two notes is called an interval. A group of three or more different notes is called a chord. And a series of notes that we look at collectively is called a scale. And we will study all of these terms in later blogs. But today, today I'll attempt to answer the question, what is a fret and is a fret a note? Do any of you know? What is a fret and is a fret a note? I understand that all the moving pieces can be intimidating with music, but be of good cheer. So I am here to answer your questions and help you use them. A fret is a small metal strip placed on the neck of string instruments, like a guitar, bass, or ukulele. The purpose of the fret is to assist in shortening the string to a specific length, giving us the desired note or pitch. Remember, that's the height. To make the note accurate, the string's lowest note is at full length. We call that open. Therefore, shortening the string makes the note go higher. When we remove the finger, the string returns to its full length and the note returns to its original pitch. Instruments with several frets give us a variety of notes. So to answer the question, a fret is a small metal strip on, on an instrument's fretboard that assists the musician in attaining the specific length of a string. In doing so, the fret helps the musician play the right note. A note is a pleasant sound like that of a voice. So a fret is not a note, but the fret does help produce the note, so you be the judge. Maybe a fret is a note. I'm Dimitri. Next up, vlog number three, the natural notes. For, for more information, be sure to visit me at Dimitri4.com. Leave your content, comments. Join up for the free live one-on-one -on -one or group blog series. We'll do a little group of three one-hour sessions and get you familiar with how to get your Jamboard working, how to get a hold of all this entire blog series, and some, some good interpersonal time with me on Zoom. Okay, so come join us. Here's one definition on this blog. Number two, fretboard. The fretboard is on the neck of the guitar. 
The neck is the long skinny part sticking out of the guitar's body. The fretboard is where we place our fingers to find the other notes. We push our fingers against the frets, the metal wires embedded in the fretboard. Pushing against the fret in turn changes the length of the string. Shorting the string makes the note move higher. As the note moves higher in pitch, it moves clockwise on the circle through the musical alphabet. So as the notes go higher, we move clockwise around the circle. Here, let me show you. So on a guitar, this long skinny part sticking out of the body is called the neck. The front of the neck is called the fretboard. That's where we play. And these metal wires on the fretboard are called frets. So if I play the second string open B, which means the full length, and then I push against one, two, this third fret, I get the note D. You can see on the circle here, the open string is B, zero. First fret C, second fret is that chromatic, that altered note, and then third fret is D. Again, B is open, second string open, D, third fret, E, fifth fret. Again, with the circle, B is open. One, two, three, four, five. So there you go. Neck, fretboard, frets, and use the circle to find the notes. Just start with the open string. Okay, I appreciate you guys. I look forward to our next blog, which is the natural notes. We'll start getting into the major scales and how they work and what they are, how they're built, using the demi-circle. Bye.